All right, what's up, guys? I want to shed a little bit of light on torches today. Um, we're, it's going to be a general discussion for just a couple of minutes. I've done some other torch slash flashlight videos in the past. Primarily today, I want to talk about this Yellow Day Energy NFRZ torch that I just picked up at Blade Show West of 2023. However, I have been a flashlight user and carrier for as long as I can remember. I started out with mini mag lights way back in the day as my daily carry flashlight. Uh, I also have a 3D mag light next to the bed still today. There's a 3D mag light next to the bed and it still works. I did LED conversion for it and it's awesome. When I was out in the field installing and whatnot, I carried a SureLight 6P. This actually became one of my daily carries for a long time. And I had another Surefire 8X that I carried on my tool belt. Recently though, like I have gotten into, you know, the triple emitters with secondaries and whatnot. This one has green secondaries, high, low, and then you get into the white lights. Okay, um, but can I go to the low? This is the thing that started to bother me is that it was always, it just wasn't easy to go from one mode to the next. So this is a bag knife Deadwood Customs collaboration that runs an 18350 battery. So when we talk about batteries, this is an 18350 and this is an 18650. Okay, everybody's familiar with double A's and triple A's. This is a triple A Olight, and this is a double A Olight. This happens to be a UV light. So I use this to check my hotel rooms for whatever, and really primarily to light up glow in the dark stuff. Okay, this one uses a 14. 400 battery or something. It's basically the double A equivalent rechargeable. Uh, and this is the Focusworks F2 in aluminum. This is the FW3A. I really liked how easy this was to turn on and off and to step the brightness up and down, right? So this one is kind of cool, has a lot of features. However, at Blade Show West, I was actually carrying this torch with me. That day, Chris, the owner of Yellow Day Energy, was like, really, dude? You know that's my competition, and you're helping me at my booth? Get that out of there. He said, toss that, carry this. I'm like, oh, okay. So I carried this for a day, and at the end, as we were packing up, he had an extra zippered case, and he goes, where's the other light? I go, oh, yeah, that's the one in my pocket. He goes, oh, never mind. Just keep it in your pocket. That's fine. We'll figure it out later. Because him and I were staying at a buddy's house. So I ended up picking this up. I don't know that I love the pocket clip. He and I adjusted it. We actually changed it. This one came with a polished clip. And we switched it for this brushed clip. What's cool about this is it's all titanium. I do have one other titanium light. This is a um, Ray light. And then I do have a Timascus light because, well, I had to have it. Olight, limited edition, whatever. Um, I love titanium. What can I say? What's cool about this one is I got the single emitter. So this gives me about a thousand lumens. He does have a triple emitter with the secondaries. So it would look more like this. Uh, and this one has... On, on Chris's, it comes with a sapphire crystal, the triple emitter, a glow-in-the-dark glow thing, um, and your choice of secondaries. Red, yellow, blue, orange, purple. He has a variety of secondary colors. This particular one was green. I showed it earlier in the video. Um but that's it. Other than that, the lights are the same in, in Chris's world. 
I chose for the single emitter because I don't need the fancy secondaries. I really just want on and off. This has three modes, low, medium, and high. There you go. Um, sometimes I do just want it to be on and off though. I want it to stay where it was. If I have it on medium, just stay on medium. Every time I click it on, I want it to go on. These are just super cool. And Chris's prices are fantastic. Okay. Uh, this one here, single emitter, was 400 bucks. It's all titanium, titanium pocket clip, all of that milling. 5,000 Kelvin uh, white light, which I love. I had an Okluma in a 13350 battery size. So it was roughly this size, aluminum body. Um, but it was like a 3500 Kelvin. And so that's a much more yellowish, warmer light. I like the true white light, the 5000-ish range Kelvin is what I prefer. That's what I use in my studio lights. Um, and that's just the white light that I prefer. So for 400 bucks, all titanium light with all the good stuff. You can get your choice of color buttons. Normally, the button color matches the secondary colors if you get secondaries. With no secondaries, it's usually just a black button, but you can mix and match with Chris. He's totally cool about it. Um, and he makes this in titanium, brass, copper, mokume, zerk. There was a tungsten one that weighed about a pound. This one, I didn't measure, I didn't weigh, I didn't measure it all either. It's standard torch, guys. This one comes in at 4.8 ounces versus the big Deadwood. This is a steel version that comes in at 5.3. Very similar, but has the secondaries and whatnot. I think it's a cool light. I had kind of gone down to like the triple A was what I've been mostly carrying because it's just smaller just smaller and easier in your pocket and then i moved up to the f2 from focusworks a little bit thicker however my issues with this is it's very smooth it it almost slips out of your hand it 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 works but it needed some texturing up here it really did or maybe just a blasting or something because it's super slick. I do like this pocket clip. I had a, a weird thought of maybe switching clips between these two, but for right now, I am just rocking Chris's clip. Now, Chris mostly has a Facebook group and does work on Facebook. He also just got an Instagram back. He got hacked at some point and they stole his Instagram. And I think we've all heard of and gone through things like that before. So I'll put links to that stuff down below. If you want the triple emitter, the secondaries and all that, it's like 575, which again is not bad. Now, granted, if you go to Tungsten, if you go to Zerk, um, you go to Damascus, Damasteel, Dragon Skin. He had one Dragon Skin one there. It wasn't even all together. It wasn't even a finished product. And it was going to be eight or nine grand for a torch. Uh, that's why I've stayed away from torches. I went nuts with knives and I've gone a little nuts with watches. I don't need to get more into torches. So I picked the basic boner model that I could because all I need is a light on and a light off. And this works perfectly for me. But I do have a variety here to choose from when the power goes out and I need time to get my generator going. I got options. So I am a big proponent of carrying a light on your person, in your car, next to your bed. Like I, yeah, I'm a light guy and I think it's important. So if you are looking for a high quality Canadian made torch, he's not in America, sorry, but the quality, the craftsmanship, the design is awesome. Uh, and he is one hell of a guy and an amazing graphic artist. And he actually did a logo for somebody the other day I was super impressed with. And I talked to him about possibly 
I know I've had my discussions about logos here on the channel. I, I might have him do me a logo because he's going to hook me up on a price. It's not free. It's not necessarily cheap. But with the graphic work that I have seen him do, he might be the guy and it might be worth the few hundred bucks to get something really nice done. Let me know in the comments if I should do a logo or should I just stay away from the logo? I thought about doing logos, stickers, patches, a whole bunch of merch. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I think that's a little bit gaudy for me. A logo and stickers, mm, that's about probably where I would go unless there was some uh, desire for a shirt or something. I don't know. I kind of feel odd about that, actually, because it's not really a business that I have. It's just a goofy channel that barely grows. And a few of you watch. I don't know. We'll get back to that. But Chris, thank you so much for convincing me. I know it didn't take much to uh, buy one of your torches. This one is what is in my pocket nowadays. This guy is getting the battery removed and just stuck somewhere because I did hear a story about some issues with them before. So, eh, you know, that also helped me make a decision to kind of change gears. And uh, so, yeah, that's what I'm carrying these days. What, if anything, are you carrying in the torch light world? I would love to know down below. And please go give Chris a follow on his Instagram. Help him build that. I don't think there's any posts right now at the time of filming, but go check him out, please. And go hook him, check him out on Facebook. Uh, he's just a super cool guy I got to hang out with for the weekend. And I hope I can hang out with him again soon because he's just a cool dude.